Imagine, for some reason, we find ourselves dangerously close to Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, to the point where nothing but Jupiter is visible in the sky, and it appears that a collision is imminent. What would happen if Jupiter were to swallow the Earth? Scientists seek answers to this question by looking back in time because this wouldn't be the first time a planet attempted to collide with Jupiter. Approximately four and a half billion years ago, a planet ten times larger than Earth collided with Jupiter, resulting in a complete transformation of Jupiter's core. However, the fate of that planet remains a mystery. Scientists claim that the colliding planet was entirely covered in ice and struck Jupiter at a speed of 46 kilograms per s. Due to its size and icy composition, the planet managed to penetrate Jupiter's surface, merging with its core in the process. Jupiter was essentially reborn, but the other planet vanished without a trace. If the Earth were to depart from its orbit around the Sun and head towards Jupiter, the journey would begin. Our planet typically orbits the Sun at a speed of about 30 kilometers per second. Assuming it maintains the same pace on its journey to Jupiter, it would take approximately 241 days to reach the giant planet. During this interplanetary voyage, Jupiter would become increasingly prominent in our sky, resembling a bright star day by day and hour by hour. By the sixth day of the journey, Jupiter's luminosity would rival that of the moon in our atmosphere. It wouldn't take long to notice that daylight is significantly diminished, and as we approach the orbit of Mars, we'd receive only 50% of the sunlight. Thankfully, our atmosphere would act as a protective shield, preventing an immediate drop in temperature. Nevertheless, in some regions, the Earth's temperature could reach as low as minus 60 degrees Celsius. As we travel through the orbit of Mars, we might encounter a beautiful meteor shower from the asteroid belt, but it would also pose a risk of collision. Finally, after 241 days, we'd reach our destination. The powerful gravitational force of Jupiter would pull us towards it, boosting our speed to around 60 kilometers per s, which is about 250 times faster than an airplane's flight speed. However, before discussing the moment of collision, it's essential to mention that Jupiter has 79 moons orbiting around it. The chances of colliding with these moons are high, but let's imagine that we could somehow avoid them. As the Earth collides with Jupiter, the atmospheres of both planets would compress, leading to a dramatic increase in temperature, igniting everything. The Earth, being comparatively small compared to Jupiter, would be destroyed in Jupiter's atmosphere before even reaching its core. Where and with whom did you want to be at that moment?